Uh, that late game build needed to kind of burst down this Barats. Yeah, they surely they're gonna try to burst Barats, but uh, I think this uh, uh, this start of the fight when Chu is just ulting the Estes or the Vixana probably is going to uh, RQ Hoshi going to try to start this way fight. To burst down yeah. fast one target and then like kind of five versus four slowly grinding another and you see both teams getting ready lord is going to spawn in again last one went to rq hoshi can team little gun defend this and take this objective if not rq hoshi may be able to start working on opening up their base and taking some of the inhibitors as you are seeing both teams trying to pull the aggro big knock up detonus welcome connected zara with the set a couple of knockups on the way g kundo rushing in but Erad will claim the Lord again for RQ Hoshi. Retri Finger Gods. Skylight is going to take down the Brats. Zara will fall. Erad takes down Ethan. You're going to find another member falling as Okta takes down Aizen. Three members down for Team Lil Gun. Still rushing in, trying to get the game ender. Trying to close this out. They did take out that Lord. May be able to do it as down goes the Tier 2 turf for the mid lane. Whew, what a fight. <laughs> Chu again used Flicker and uh, Ultimate, but this time on the carry and the, and the Purify worked super good for carry, but it wasn't still like not there. I guess yeah, carry is building like tanky items right now and uh, there is like no actual damage here because like it's not enough. She should like one shot people, but not, not uh, working out. Yeah, you're going to go ahead and see Team Lil Gun now forced in their base. Both teams trying to fight it out. Will RQ Hoshi be able to take this one? Team Lil Gun trying to hold him off, trying to stop this Lord from making his way into the base. This is Luminous, though. Skylar able to take the inhibitor on the top side. One more turret to go for a possible game ender in game one of group stage A. Yeah, it's a... Uh... There, there are chances, but uh, this is the point when actually Team Lil Gun is like, can't be split pushed at the, <laughs> at the base. So maybe if they hold up for like some extra three, four minutes, maybe they're gonna farm some damage. And I mean, they basically they need to start bursting down someone. Yeah, you are gonna go ahead and see uh, RQ Hoshi versus Team Lil Gun so far. Working in RQ Hoshi's favor, a lot of the items are showcasing on the board so far. Anti-heal picked up from the Navaria, trying to find a way to counter this Estus. You are looking at Cho picking up the Dominus Ice. Everybody having some anti-heal for the most part and uh, doing a really good job on their itemization. Team Logan doesn't really have too many chances to be able to hold them off. They're going to definitely have to try and fight for this next neutral objective because if RQ Hoshi can take this Luminous Lord, could be a possible game ender. I don't know. It's, yeah, but it's going to be really hard for to come back for for Team Lil Gun from here because, like you know, every fight Claude has uh, this ability to uh, like ult in the, in the late stages of the fight, which you don't want to uh, to be uh, happening every every single time because like. Like Benedetta starts for damaging people, Navaria damaging people, and only then Cloud is jumping in to like kind of finish all them, all of them off. You don't wanna uh, see there uh, this because it's pretty hard to defend. Yeah, you are gonna go ahead and see uh, both teams getting ready for this next neutral objective. Luminous Lord will spawn in the next four seconds. 
And we were able to see RQ Hoshi, for the most part, take this with little to no problem. Able to win these 5v5 engagements, but it looks like Team Low Gun is going to try and contest this. They know everything is on the line right here, and they need this objective in order to turn this game on the backside. Meanwhile, uh, Sir Lord is going in. It's not like uh, Luminous Lord, like level 3 Lord. Oh, and again, Flicker and uh, Veil, the dragon used on the CC. Immediately, Vengeance popped out and uh, uh, going back to disengage. Yeah, a little bit of a disengage. RQ Hoshi, Team Low Gun, getting ready for this battle. 50% HP for the Lord. But on the top side, Benedetta doing a real good job of uh, splitting these lanes. It's going to force them to uh, push off. You are going to see the Vexana go back to try and clear these minions, which will open up the opportunity in terms of numbers for RQ Hoshi, as the Lord is very low. Zara may be able to get the Retribution, Ooh. able to take it for Team Lil Gun. First Lord of the day for them. And Mortality has been proc blazing away from Skylar into Zara, into the full five-man team of Team Lil Gun. Okta able to take down Zara. One minute will fall. Let the final blow going down. Jenna Saint with a huge play. What and a didn't, turnaround, didn't Team Lil Gun. Didn't went for the finish up. Wow, such a good fight. But I guess, like, RQ Hoshi should went for the kills, I think. And uh, super good. Like, Benedetta went for, like, two people at the, at the end, but didn't quite finish them off and uh, just uh, safely went back because there's a Lord to death on top of that. Just just look at look at that uh, free, freeze from the Estes, uh, completely dodging all of the damage from the Claude, make him survive of this. I wonder if uh, Claude build the uh, uh, anti-heal here yeah that's definitely something i'm wondering as well as you are going to go ahead and see uh a possible siege for the base to turn around from team low gun a love set on the way but you are going to see the astro echo go out they are going to disengage not going to go in for that inhibitor turret but now this is an even game anybody can take this match yeah, that's Lord. It, like, it's, they always go in for this 50-50 Lord. I, I don't know. Why don't just they fight uh, on the full HP, kind of trying to get one, two person and then kind of bait Lord and attack the uh, the team instead of going of this like 50-50 retribution every time. Yeah, you know, but they do have the Benedetta for, and like I said, they have a lot of mobility for the side of RQ Hoshi. So they can split push. It was the right idea, but they were not able to get... Uh, Zara away from that Lord. We talked about his sustainability, especially running this Barats. You're looking at him very heavy with the Guardian Helmet, the uh, anti caress the Athena Shield, and the Dominant Sides to be able to protect himself. And then Estus to keep him alive has those additional healing effects from the Flask of o o Oasis to top that off. And it has been a problem. I mean, they don't really have anybody to kind of push him back. They have Irad on this uh, Fredrin to be able to get the knockup and an energy eruption for a possible uh, stun. Zara pretty much has free range when it comes to kind of being that bully inside of these neutral zones. Yeah, it's working out, but what you can see like the the classics, the classics is 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 like uh, the pop pop train strategy versus split push strategy. Like these are the classics of the all MOBA, I guess. The pop train versus the split push. Yeah, now you're gonna go ahead and see. Both teams getting ready again for the next neutral objective. I wonder who will be able to take this one. This may actually be the possible game. And we're now sitting at 20 minutes. This is officially the late game. This is longer than what we typically see even on the North American scene. Most of our matches are like 14, 15 minutes. With some of the long ones going past the 20 minute mark. Everybody full game build uh, with that late damage. RQ Hoshi team low gun. Both of these teams need this match. This is a best of three. And this will definitely give them a huge advantage for a possible sweep as the Luminous Lord spawns in. <laughs> yeah, I agree with this one. And I kind of thinking that uh, Fredrin is not fit very good in the RQ Hoshi team composition. What do you think about it? Yeah, I, I think the composition is definitely interesting. I mean, I feel like it's kind of working out for both sides, though. Like I said, it's not really um, a one-sided story. I would have expected uh, the Barats to have had a little bit more pressure in the early phase, but it looks like RQ Hoshi was able to make up with, the, with their macro and their micro. With the Lord spawned in, though, 50% HP. You are going to see Irad pulling the aggro. Some good split pushing from Genesante, though, on the bot side. Running this Benedetta. You see him kind of camping on that purple buff, waiting for the opportunity to kind of split this lane. And maybe an actual backdoor play if uh, Team Lil Gun is not careful. 
Oh, the, the Benedetta might go for the throw. Ah, no, 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 no. She's it just it's just a bait. She's she's just waiting. And uh, yeah, Ariq and Hosha are doing the absolutely right thing because you don't want to engage uh, five versus five like straight up bold fight. You want to like kind of kind of split them up a little bit to make this like quick attack with the Chu uh, and the Flicker or Benedetta uh, elect a final blow with uh, Petrify. Yeah, with the floor spawned in, Irad again, pulling the aggro, trying to bait Team Little Gun to take this engagement. A little bit of a knockup, though. Zara taking the fight, very low though. Massive damage to Skylar, take him down. Big play, as they won't have the retribution to be able to contest this Lord. RQ Hoshi though, may go in for the fight, but look at the Benedetta on the base. May go for the back door. Skylight trying to hold him from getting back. Not gonna allow nobody to recall. Benedetta now on the base. Crystal dealing some massive damage. 15% five, RQ <laughs> Hoshi backdoors Team Lil Gun for game one in our best of three, one step closer to making it out of the group stage. Oh man, this is... of a harder time uh, getting online, but you are seeing the battle, the invasion over the purple buff. Zara going in for it. Irad not going to be able to... Uh, no, he looks like he was able to get it with his uh, retribution right at the last second. Yeah, and the Beatrix is pushing, the split pushing the wave and immediately TP in back. This is like exactly what she should do in this position of uh, not power. <laughs> no, no position of power here from RQ Hoshi, but uh, if they manage to hold up for like six, seven minutes additional, I mean... Not six, seven minutes. I mean, basically, it's one fight. If uh, Team Little Gun lose one fight, they might come back here, uh, but we'll see. Yeah, as the battle on the way, a siege for the tier two turn, the proxy of the lane. Massive damage goes out. Forbit takes on Brizara, gets another, finds Skylar. And now we'll be able to take this tier two turn on the bot side. But in the mid lane, pay attention to Irad trying to go in, trying to find a trade. Bebex yeah, yeah, yeah. will find a turret off screen as well. That's exactly what they are doing in terms of like in aggressive defense. Like, you know, they uh, team little gun killing our Hoshi people, but uh, the Lancelot trying to even that out and uh, like split push, defend, don't let the, them get the objectives because of that kills. And uh, yeah, that's the uh, right thing to do to kind of uh, drag uh, the game a little bit, hold it for more minutes. Yeah, and right now, RQ Hoshi trying to hold off Team Lil Gun from claiming even more real estate on today's match. Off to a great start with a six kill lead and also up by 5,000 gold as this Lord spawns in. So far, we haven't been able to see Team uh, RQ Hoshi be able to take any of these neutral objectives. Team Lil Gun just getting everything they came for, not asking any questions and just uh, handling their business at every stage of the early game. Can we see RQ Hoshi turn this around? Divide judgment goes out. Skylar gets the kill, takes down Forbid. We just talked about this. The cause would be in the counter for the Lilia. Oh, and the Lord is being contested, probably. Lancelot is kind of far away, and the second skill with the retribution gonna steal the Lord. It was so like I can saw it from the far away. Like, you know, he's like, oh, there's Lord there. Let, let me try to steal it. And like <laughs> and just took it. <laughs> Skylar, though, on the chase, he wants Zara. You are going to see Aizen try and kite him. A little bit of an overextension, and Aizen will be able to get the kill, but Abraham will shut down Zara. Phantom Execution in. Thorn Rose connecting Bebex. 15% HP will make his way back into the tier 2 turret. And now the Lord intact making his way down the mid lane. And you're looking at RQ Hoshi turning this game around. Team Low Gun wow. now on the defense. Aizen very low, forced to go back. Forbid may not be able oh. to get out of there. You are going to see uh, Arad going in, trying to get the kill. Not able to close the distance on Aizen as he makes his way back to the base. And down goes the Lord. Uh, Ethan was a little bit hesitating with his ultimate because he cashed Lancelot with his second skill and he should ult immediately afterwards. But he, he ulted like a little bit longer. So it uh, opens up a window for the Lancelot to dodge with the second skill. And that's exactly what he did. Yeah, you see, he was definitely on the chase. It was funny watching Skylar <laughs> trying to chase down a kill, getting punished over there by Aizen. And then the same thing with uh, Iriad trying to find uh, Aizen on his way out. Neither side able to kind of close that distance. But so far, 10-5. to 5. Even though RQ Hoshi is behind in kills, they are now leading the way in terms of turrets. And the gold has almost equalized for both sides. Team Little Gun up by 1,000. Uh, but in terms of map control, it is now favoring RQ Hoshi. 
Yeah, I absolutely agree with this one. I'm just wondering why Team Lil Gun keep doing the same mistake. Like, they not focusing the heroes. They like going for these like 50-50 lords. I don't know. Ooh, but this match is not 50-50 with this engagement on the side. Skylar will find Aizen on the 4v2. Ethan left by himself to pick up the pieces, and they may go in to take this turret. Ethan not really in a position to contest, and it looks like Skylar is going to seize this opportunity. Skylar already 2,000 gold ahead of Bebex. Yeah, and the double ultimate on the Beatrix just to follow up uh, Kaja's ultimate, uh, Divine Judgment. And, uh, <laughs> like, so synchronized. Like, as uh, as soon as Kaja ult, uh, they're like, grenades are flying in and the pistols <laughs> are uh, already being loaded, uh, ready to follow up. And the uh, super fast kill, no vengeance for Tamus because it's impossible to use while be, being ulted uh, with uh, Kaja or Franco. And yeah, taking the full advantage out of that. And you are looking at the highest kills in the game so far. Going over to Zara. Had a really good start on that Martis. Now sitting 6, 1, and 3 for the side of Team Logan. But on RQ Hoshi, even though they're not high on kills, their synergy is definitely coming alive as we are now officially in the mid game. They don't have the high mobility that we saw in game one, especially uh, with that uh, Benedetta rotating around and keeping Team Little Gun on their toes, but they're making up for it with their IQ. Conceal play has been called out though from the side of Team Little Gun, trying to rush in, trying to catch Genesante, but he puts on the skates and slides away, but hit over there by Ruby with the CC and massive damage going out. Mortar Coils from Zara. Trying to get a decimation off, Phantom Execution in. Irad will find Ethan, gets a double, shuts down Baybex, a two for none trade. Gets that triple on his way to a possible Maniac, as Octa will be able to find one as well. Forbid all by himself, trying to get away. RQ Hoshi on the chase, can they get him? No. He's gonna sandwich around, Irad not letting him go, showing no mercy. Black Shoes though, a massive, play to be able to escape the full team of RQ Hoshi as they're now going in for a possible game ender. They have minions and only one member to go through, but Ethan will spawn in time for some additional CC. Do they try and close it out here? I'm not sure if they can pull it off and it looks like they are now going to shift their focus onto this Luminous Lord. Wow, wow, what a turnaround, like, <laughs> and Lancelot was kind of reminding me of this game, like, checkers, uh, you call it, right? <laughs> when he was jumping on the <laughs> minions, it was like, <laughs> like that kind of stuff. I will say, Irad is thirsty for the kills, the way he's rotating around, the way he tapped over into the oh, inhibitor yeah. turret to try and box out Forbid from escaping, but the black shoes at the last second to wrap back around into the uh, inhibitor for the t mid lane saved his life right there and avoided a full wipeout in a game ender uh, that could have been everything out for team low guns is they're currently sitting zero to one if rq hoshi closes this game out with this luminous lord it will be a 2-0 sweep and they will have a big advantage for group stage a yeah, Iradis definitely want to like taste, give them taste of, the, of their own medicine because of the early game, like every time is invading his buffs, every time like harassing him in the jungle and now he's going, they gonna pay for it. Yeah, Team Logan backs against the wall. Everything to lose right here if they're not careful. RQ Hoshi, Viva RRQ! as they are alive right now and doing well. 10 to 10 on the scoreboard, but down goes the Lord. Some great defense from Team Logan, but now stripped down to only the base crystal and no inhibitors. Yeah, RQ Hoshi being able to defend all of the attacks of the Team Lil Gun. Only three towers are down, and the mid lane, like most important tower, is still up. And uh, uh, RQ Hoshi maintain their composure and uh, uh, not being not nervous and under the immense pressure Team Lil Gun putting on them and uh, gathering their thoughts for this like final counter attack and they uh, did it quite good just like waited for some items I guess yeah, now they have all the lane synced. It looks like they're going to go in for the close. They don't have the lore, but no worries. We have the minions and the damage. Massive play. Big on the fitted set, though. Babex will find Okta. Forbid takes down Bruce. A turnaround. Team Lil Gun on the defense. Phantom Execution out. You're going to look at Irad doing a quick 180. Not going in with what they came for. RQ Hoshi, a little bit of a miscalculated play right there. And Team Lil Gun able to turn it around. I mean, RQ Hoshi uh, damage every single target for like 20-30%, maybe even lower, but they should like, 
they was damaging everyone instead of like uh, trying to focus uh, pr priority. They thought they can kill all of them, but damage wasn't there in uh, when you put it like that on the every single person you can see around <laughs> you. And uh, yeah, now they go into defend, and the Team Lil Gun has a small window to actually come back and maybe potentially five versus four somebody. Uh, but uh, Kaja is running straight from the base already. Ten seconds for the Lord, and it's going to be five of five on the Lord. Ooh, but the aggressive play, Zinasante caught in the middle, uses the winner truncheon, but not gonna be able to hold him off. Second saving grace, immortality, Ooh. been procced, and he goes down. Zara uh, with the decimation, one member falling for RRQ Hoshi. And now you've seen some heavy focus in the mid lane. Luminous Lord spawned in, and Team Lil Gun with the advantage of numbers. Wow, insanely good, you know, the, the freeze into the immortality and on top of that uh, Faramis tried to ult but he actually like slipped a little bit and the ult didn't proc on him with the immunity effect It might be enough to survive for the counter attack and the ultimate divine judgment goes into Martis and trying to follow up on Beatrix with the damage But it's not enough and uh, now Martis is gonna keep working on the Lord I don't know if it's a good idea or not, but phantom execution going in trying to get the <laughs> Lilia, but not gonna happen because of that ruby with the spoke on the drop against assassins is so good. Yeah, Irad did fall though, so there's no retribution for RQ Hoshi. And now a possible opportunity with the numbers from Team Little Gun to close this game out. Octa gets a kill. Zora takes down Skylar. That's gonna be a two for two trade so far. It looks like the numbers have equalized. RQ Hoshi finding a way, finding a will. Burst will take down four bid. Two more members left to go through. Make it one. Zora Immortality has been procced. May not be able to get out of there. Ringo order for the slow burst on his tail. Can they take him down? Octa will. He will fall. That's going to leave Genesante in the base trying to close it out. Ethan left to defend against the three-man team of RQ Hoshi looking for the 2-0 sweep. Aizen joining the party. Going to use that Cotter Infernal last minute. Trying to hold him off. 25%. 5%. Viva RRQ as they get the 2-0 sweep. Out from Indonesia, taking down Team Lil Gun from Mongolia in Group Stage A, Game of Futures 2024. Yeah, congratulations.